Hope everybody's doing really good. I'm doing really good here in New York City this evening. I see some people are already in the house. So, you know, I like to give you your FaceTime. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Let me go back up and see. Let me see. Who's this? Let's see. We got Robert. Thanks so much for having me having me. This is my first time at your live. Thank you. I am so glad that you are here, Robert. I am so happy to see your your chat, your face. Well, it's not really your face, your icon in the place. <laughs> let me see. I missed. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Let me get Susan. Uh, Susan, when does it start? Starting right now. <laughs> Okay, I guess y'all were there waiting for a little while. Thank you so much for coming. And of course, Courtney is in the house. Hi, Courtney. How you doing tonight? Courtney is very busy. I am your diamond painting. Yeah, Courtney is now doing all kinds of crafts. Uh, some here. Okay, I don't know. Okay, hi. And then Rokia. Rokia. I don't know. But anyway, that's a pretty name. Ro Rokaya. I don't know. Can you syllab give me the syllables? It's very pretty. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm glad that you like the vids. Let me see. And then, of course, we have Miss Evelyn. Hi, Life with Evelyn. So glad to see you this evening. And Miss Norma. <laughs> Norma in the house. So glad to see you, Norma. And Sandra is here. Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Angie Prescott. Hi, Angie. So good to see you here. And Jennifer. I've been working on a baby blanket, but it is knitted. It is knitted, not loom. Hey, we, uh, we just love crafting. If you want to loom knit, that's great. If you want to do any other craft, that's great too. Crafting is all about <laughs> the crafting. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, you know what? I love you too. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Okay. So Martina. Hi, Martina and Pamela from Florida. Woo. All the way from Florida. I wish I was in Florida right about now. And you made a scarf. Okay. Um, did you loom knit your scarf or did you knit yours? Was it loom knit? I watched lots of tutorials, but yours was the only one I understood from the UK. Hello, UK, all the way from the UK. Welcome. Welcome. And Jennifer, but I have done some dish scrubbies that are loom. Okay. It's all about crafting. Whatever your craft is, as long as you're making stuff, 
You know, because I have said this more than once, I believe that crafting is the best form of meditation. And I, I think crafters are just so cool <laughs> because you make stuff. Vanessa, Vanessa and Firefox. Okay. Hello, Firefox. This is what I want to know. Uh, before I go further, last week we did a giveaway. I, I sent out three DVDs. One I personally sent out to, I sent that to Miss Jasmine, Selena. The other two, I had the manufacturer send them to you. I just went online and I sent you the tracking numbers. I went online to track and it says status for both of them. One one to South Carolina and one to you, to the UK. It says status unknown. Did you get them? Did you get them or not? Uh, let me know, Firefox. And if you're here, uh, Kimberly, yeah. Um, no, who's that? The other person, Miss, yeah, Kimberly. Kimberly, if you got yours, because when I checked the status, it said status unknown. And that concerns me. So I want to get your prize to you. So let me know if you got it. Okay, so here is, wait a minute, I skipped, did I skip someone? Wait a minute, let me go right here. Okay, I learned to loom knit by watching your videos while I had COVID in October. Oh, so sorry to hear, but I'm glad you're, you had it. You don't have it now, so that's the good thing. I'm obsessed, sending you love from Westport, Connecticut. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Loretta, Loretta from South Carolina is in the house tonight, and... I love you. You're so creative. Thank you. I'm getting so much love tonight. Okay. Rokea. Okay. Her name is pronounced Rokea. Very pretty. Thank you, Rokea. And and Rokea, wait, let me go back before I go to Norma. She says, uh, luminating. Okay. So you love, and th um, thumbs up, people. Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Thank you, Norma. I appreciate that. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate all of you. You all make me feel so good. And um, I love your video. Thank you. Oh, we got four, a lot of, couple of Floridas here, huh? Okay. Very good. Bring that, push your weather our way up here in New York City. And I love you. Uh, we love you in Florida. Oh, yes. You know, when the, when the COVID is over, <laughs> one of the things I would like to do is perhaps do some little, um, I don't know, we'd never, well, you know, where we get together in person in different areas, just, you know, we, we would say we're getting together to do crafts, but we're really getting together to kind of like just talk and party and have tea and whatever. <laughs> but I'm so, I so want to do that when, of the COVID is over. Okay. And so let's see, who did I miss? Uh, Sue. <laughs> Sue is saying, hello all. Courtney says, my cousin Amanda and her son lived in Florida. Yeah. Sounds like, okay, you got it. Okay. I was so concerned. Thank you. Thank you. Glad, glad you received it. Okay. So I'm going to think that Jennifer... Kimberly must have gotten hers too. She was just in South Carolina. You were all the way in the UK. All right. Thank you. And so, Benita, hi. Hi there. Let's see. Hello, Jane. Oh, your first time here. Well, welcome. And Courtney, no, Crafting Journey. Okay. <laughs> crafting Journey. All right. So, Crafting Journey has... You just look up Crafting Journey when you leave. She has a YouTube channel. I can't even count how many times she's on every day, but she does lives and she goes live at several times. It seems like to me several times a day. And I, she was gracious enough to invite me to be a guest on her show last Sunday. And we had a ball it was, I had a really good time. I just thank her so much for giving me the opportunity to be there. We had a good time. And so what I'm going to do is, not right now, but I am going to let you know I'm extending an invitation for you to come on and join me. Okay, I figured out how to do my, <laughs> my camera so that I can bring people on. And so I'd love to have you come on, but check out Crafting Journey. She does some of everything. 
I think I first thought she was just, I thought she was just that diamond painter, but that's, she does, she does it all. Anyway, so thank you for being here, Crafting Journey, and um, <laughs> on, on a me, on a me. Oh, wow. Okay, that's great. There's so many beautiful names, and I don't like to mess them up, but thank you for letting me know. That's, that is beautiful. Uh, I'm cleaning all of my craft stuff right now. Yeah, you got to do that sometimes. <laughs> yes, okay. And so she's saying hi to Robert. And then Pamela is here. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do it. You mean to get together in person in different areas of the of the country? Yes, yes. I, I'm so looking forward to that. So hi, everyone. And then she says, I found. Then she, I can't get... Okay, so that's Karen, and here comes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so much yarn in the attic. So match colors and material. I didn't know what to do with it, and I watched your videos, and I found some. Okay, yeah, so we all have all this stuff. South Carolina, love to you. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you, South Carolina. Well, you know I'm from North Carolina, so. We're kind of from the same hood, kind of, kind of. <laughs> Hello from Troy, Montana. I love the way you teach. Thank you. Okay, it was so much fun. Yes, it was. Oh, great. Then I'll, sit, I'll be sending you an email to invite you to come on. And then we have uh, Robert says, I love Rebecca. Yes, the crafting journey is in the house. Uh, that's Rebecca is the crafting journey. And so we're going to have her come on and be our guest. Maybe she can come. Well, we only do lives once a month. So maybe she can be our guest n next month for March. That would be great. Okay. And so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, look at all those faces. And Marguerite, Marguerite. I've been missing you, Marguerite. How you doing? Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you know I'm from Greensboro. You know that, right? Greensboro. Okay. <laughs> and Scotland. Oh, the whole world is here. Sister states. That's right. North Carolina and South Carolina. We're like that. We're like that. That's right. <laughs> and Savannah, Georgia. Oh, they're so pretty in Savannah, Georgia. Okay, and we got some love from England. Okay, here's what I want to do before we go on. Let me get well. Go. Let me go ahead and get Kathleen while she's here. Uh, thank you, Kathleen, for being here. Now, here's what I need to go ahead and say. Well, let me get Cupcake. Cupcake is right here. <laughs> Barbara, she is. Cupcake is Barbara from Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. I've been to Baltimore. And here's Miss Erin from Arkansas. Oh yeah, the whole the whole country and the whole world is right here on this live tonight. <laughs> and she says she lives in Sart what is that? Sartell, Minnesota. Minnesota. I hope I got Minnesota. I get my, my abbreviations mixed up sometimes. And Canada. So we got the whole world up in here. We got the whole world on the lab. We got the whole wide world on the lab. Oh, uh, and Australia. Okay. Australia. Now, where was I? I was in Perth for a few weeks and then I was in Sydney. And I only came back home because I ran out of money, but I loved it in Australia. I was there. It was October, November, but it was your summertime. It was summertime. It was so beautiful, and the people were just wonderful to me. Okay, so now, uh, so that's Australia. Then who did I miss? Okay, and we got, um, thank you so much for teaching me to loom knit. Hi, Linda. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Nova Scotia. Okay. I got stories for all of these places. I've been to Nova Scotia. It was very, very beautiful. Okay. I said Australia was beautiful. Nova Scotia. I don't know. It has a special thing. It was, it's very nice in the evenings. Nova Scotia. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, we got to laugh a little bit. I'm in Queensland and it is really beautiful here. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Now, before I take any more, I just want to say, I, I'm thinking it might be a short, uh, 
uh, live tonight because I live in a house with my one of my adult daughters and my sister, adult sister, and all all of us are online right now. So we don't know. Somebody is going to get kicked off. I hope it's not me. But when the three of us are using up the Wi-Fi all at one time, somebody doesn't get to stay. So we'll see what happens here. So I want to I want to go before it, it goes, before it kicks me off. Okay, so let's see where Kay, she says. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Okay. Okay. So I'm glad that people got the DVDs. Okay. Right now I'm getting ready to do the shares and right at what I have on right now is I don't see Betty, Betty in the chat right now, but this is a necklace that Betty made and I've worn it before. And this is the matching bracelet and the, the earrings. So what I know about the people who come to my channel is that they just love all kinds of crafting. I have people who come to the chat channel who never loom knitted anything, but they love the idea of crafting and they just come and, and share some of their other crafts with me. And so right now, I think we're going to do the shares and then I'm going to come back with an announcement about the next tutorial. Okay, so let's do the shares. Now, if you would like to share something on a live or if you would like to, okay, if you'd like to share something on a live, this is the email that you would send your photo to. Just send it as an attachment to wambui at wambuimadeit.com. So that's how you can send me things. I used to have an online thing and they didn't work out. So send it to me and until I find another home for all of our, our pictures and the things that you do, just send it to me and we'll at least start sharing them again uh, in the lives. Okay, so I'm going to go with the first share we have tonight. This is from Bertha. Bertha's down in the Bahamas. And Bertha sent me some socks that she made. And they look really warm. So those are some socks that I'd love to have here in New York City. And Bertha also made uh, all these hats. And right here is um, she made slippers. The blue or is a hat with matching slippers. And then we have a hat and I think those are mittens, and then we have a, another hat. So Bertha's very busy uh, loom knitting and creating things. She she just creates her own her own things. And of course, then we have another set with the hat, mittens, two hats, mittens, and and more mittens over here. And then here's something that Betty made. Now Betty um, loom knitted this uh, toilet tissue cover, and I think that's so cute. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would look so great on, on the back of your toilet in your bathroom. You have your little toilet tissue thing covered up. I think that's cute. All right. And now we have Courtney has been diamond painting. And this is one of her pieces that are finished and it's in the frame somewhere. Okay. So, and this is that piece that she finished and it's in the frame. Of course, the picture doesn't do it justice because you can't see all the little diamonds separated, but she's been diamond painting up in there. And Courtney, this is, uh, she was just showing me something she's working on over there with, uh, uh, these are her, her I don't know how many of you diamond paint, but this is what she's working on right now. And then she, and uh, Courtney has the ability to just see a picture and she creates something. So she created the, her aerial here and and okay, this is Courtney and Courtney, I didn't, I didn't know if you, well, you sent me the picture, so you're in it. So, but this is her doing the arm knitting this. And so that looks really fascinating. Why did that get so little? I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. But she's doing the arm knitting and that looks really fascinating there. That, okay. So I don't know. I don't know if any of you have done that before, but uh, let's see. Okay, that's the one we just did. And then this is, now she also was doing the Groot. And so she was telling me that she, anyway, she got the flowers and everything for the Groot said, but she looks at something and then she creates it. So I think that's that's pretty amazing. I'm gonna go back and 
just review real quick some of the shares from last week. Of course, this was from Sandra, and this was a lid that goes into a jar, and she painted that, put mag magnets on it, and put it on her refrigerator. And of course, this here is uh, one of more Betty's toilet tissue um, holders, and here's the basket weave scarf. And this is Courtney's with some gloves and picture frames and a purse from Betty and a hat from Betty and a, a shawl from Betty. And yeah, yeah, well, yeah, this is really fitting. So, so what I want to say is that if you would like to do the share next month, if you have something you want to take a picture of and send it to me, wambui at wambui.com. Okay, so now what do I want to do? Okay, um, okay, oh, okay, okay, all right, so we already did that, okay. Now, okay, here's what I want to tell you. Last week, I'm going to get back to the comments in a minute. Uh, let's see, I think we left off, okay, last week, I'm going to come back over to the comments. Last week, we talked about the um, uh, two different blankets. And one of the blankets was, uh, somebody said a season blanket. It's the blanket. Is that what it's called? The weather, a weather blanket. The weather blanket. In fact, Rebecca showed me one that she's working on. I had never heard of that before until you all were talking about it. And it sounds like something that would be very interesting to do, the, a weather blanket. And we also were talking about the 10 stitch blanket. And people are saying, well, you know, it's kind of hard to understand what they're are talking about with the 10 stitch blanket and I said yeah it is hard that's why I haven't done one but guess what okay this is my just rough this was my very first rough thing that my next tutorial that's gonna be up by Monday night is gonna be the 10 stitch blanket now here this one's very rough this is just what I was doing as I was trying to learn what to do <laughs> and so it has a lot of bumps and a lot of things in it but this was my practice to as i figured out how it went this is what i bet i i did so i figured out the 10 stitch blanket now i figured out a version of the 10 stitch blanket and um i'm going to show you an, another one in just a second that i'm working on what i did was um, there's a woman named Frankie Brown, who is the woman who came up with the concept for the 10 stitch blanket. So once I figured it out, I decided I was going to do a tutorial about it. And then I thought, well, I better ask Miss Frankie Brown if that's going to be okay, because I'm very respectful of somebody's work, you know, that they create and do. And so I, I wanted to, you know, ask her if it would be okay for me to do a tutorial on my channel of my version of the 10 stitch blanket. And she was very wonderful and very gracious. And she said, no problem. That would be, that's going to be great. And the only thing she asked is I had heard that her patterns are usually free, but that she, all she asks is that you make a donation to the Children's Liver uh, Fund. So when I put up my tutorial, I'm going to put that link in the description box. And so anything that you feel that you can give, then um, I think that's a very worthy cause in any case. So please donate to, I'll put her link so you can donate to the Children's Liver Fund in in her name. And um so anyway, so that's what's, what I'm working on. Let me go over here. First, let me go back to some uh, comments for a minute. And let me see. I think we did. Yeah, she said she was in Queen and interest. Okay. And then we have, oh, Joseph in New York. Let me, You know what? Let me come right back for just a sec. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, New York. And, okay, I'm in Harlem. I'm in Harlem, New York City. So welcome. Always good to have a fellow New Yorker. Hello. Thank you for being here. And 
You're the one who taught me how to loom knit. I'm making another baby blanket. I even make my own patterns. Fabulous. That is so great. It's, that's the idea is to learn something and then you take it, make it your own and you run with it. But that's, that's amazing. That's, that's what crafting is about. Nareda. Nareda saying hi to everyone. Good evening, Nareda. Now, Nareda is uh, the person who turned me on to diamond painting. And okay, next week, I promise I'm going to show off some of my diamond painting. She's the one who introduced me to diamond painting. And she was even gracious enough to send me, she sent me a few diamond painting kits to get me started. I had never even heard of it, literally, until she, she told me about it. Welcome, Nareda. Okay, and so all the these creations are so pretty. Yes, people, that's what it's about. Uh, people creating things and letting other people enjoy enjoy them okay and she's saying hi narita give my lady a thumbs up <laughs> great projects uh yeah can't can't wait to see it <laughs> and love it okay so you all are talking about the crafts that we saw thank you so okay can't i um i asked how much yarn you put into your 10 stitch blanket well mine is very the one i showed you the sample is real small i used this right here alone took uh three <laughs> took three skeins of yarn and this was the loops and thread um loops and thread charisma a uh, number five weight yarn and just this little bit right here took three skeins. It does eat up, it does eat up yarn. <laughs> okay, so, um, and then, um, I plan on saving it as I have tried and tried and failed. Well, I'm going to try to take everybody by the hand and we're going to walk through this 10 stitch blanket and we're going to all get it. And then you all are going to be able to go away and do your own version of of the 10 stitch blanket <laughs> and so all right and so there's these people are talking to each other i finally learned my daughter told me to skip if they're not talking to you ma just skip them she says <laughs> okay so uh here we have joseph is sending a lot of beautiful hearts thank you and narrator new york city is in that yeah narrator you also are new york city Yes, so New York is represented tonight. Yes. <laughs> and uh, good evening from Michelle. I need a suggestion for pink and white yarns. My niece commissioned me to make her best friend a blanket. She's due in April, and my niece just asked me. Well, I would tell your niece. <laughs> I would tell your niece to go to the store. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, we you can get something by April. You got a whole month. And so, um, you know what? You might, if you want to just wait until, um, what, I don't know what weight your yarn is. But if you want to wait until Monday, I think that you might want to do, I think you'll be able to do the 10 stitch blanket. I know it's been hard. Everybody can't figure it out. I think I'm going to have you doing a 10 stitch blanket. Let me show you what what I have over here. Let me see. Um, let's see. Oh, it's so it's messy over here right now. So, okay. <laughs> so, okay. So, oh, these are my gloves because um, I sprained my hand during the week, last week. But, okay. So, here's the 10 stitch blanket that I'm working on right now. Okay, so see how that is? How great that would be for a baby, I think. So, and once you get it, it's going to go really fast. And it's just a matter of getting those. This is all just with E-wrap stitches and um, pearl stitches. One row of E-wrap, one row of pearl. And the thing that the only thing, once you figure out exactly... It's kind of like a dance, and as as long as you can remember the choreography, it's just remembering what to do after each step. But I think um, to me that that would make a great baby blanket. Um, now I lost me. Where am I? 
<laughs> okay, so that's so that's one thing to do, or just you know you can just always do one knit one pearl one row knit one row pearl and that goes really fast and um, it it'll make a great baby blanket as well and you can also put some fringe um, maybe not for a baby blanket I don't know but you know you, you can do a baby you can do it Erin you can do it okay <laughs> I want to do the thick cushy yarns oh I like those yarns best too I like I am going to be starting a project though where I'm using really skinny yarn um a woman named Pat um, was looking to get rid of or give away this loom. And so she gave it to me. She asked me if I'd like to have it. This is the Cindy loom. and But look at how close and skinny those... Look at that. This is... What is this? This is one quarter inch and 120 pegs on here. Okay? And so I'm going to make a hat... I've never made a hat this fine before, so I have the yarn already that I'm going to use to make this hat. And let me get let me get Erin off here for now. I want okay, <laughs> yeah. So this is the the loom, and so this is the yarn. It's real skinny. So I <laughs> so that's going to be. I've never made anything uh, that close together before, so that's going to be uh, quite a project, but I think the hat is going to look really good. Okay, so let's see. I need to set up closed caption because I'm deaf. I love loom knitting. Um, maybe, um, hmm. You know what? I, I can probably do that on my videos. I, there's a, I know there's a way to set that up. So I'm going to write that down. Closed caption. There is a way to set it up. I think it might happen. Sometimes it seems like it happens. Closed caption. Okay. All right. So that way you'll get to hear my lovely voice. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know that. Okay. So North Carolina, more North Carolina. Oh my goodness. North Carolina. That's my state. I'm looking forward to the 10 stitch blanket tutorial. Okay, yes, that's gonna be a lot of fun. But I'm having trouble finding any just pink and white. But I'm having trouble finding any just pink and white. Uh, you're having trouble finding the yarn itself? Oh, I thought you had found it, but you were just, any suggestions for pink and, oh, you did, okay. Well, my favorite yarn is Loops and Threads Charisma. And, they have like this is this is loops and threads charisma let me put it over here you can see it better but this is loops and threads okay all right so this is loops and threads you want something like that and this is a number what is it five but it's and it's acrylic and i i like the loops and threads because they wash well and everything like that but and so yeah that's about it for pink but yeah so i don't i don't know if that would be if you that's something you're interested in but um yeah that color the um, the, the charisma is that i don't know why that's my favorite yarn the charisma yarns okay so um if anybody knows of other pink and white yarns that are good for baby blankets then let erin know and we did hay from North Carolina. Okay, now Erin says, and it needs to be synthetic. Yes, and request no wool. Okay, so, okay, so the the acrylic. Well, this this these yarns are acrylic. That's why I like them too, and they're not itchy either. Okay, and so then right now in England, it is twelve. So, <laughs> Wow. Well, thank you for being up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would have, I would have, my bedtime would have been like a few hours ago. <laughs> thank you for being here. I'm so glad you were here. Um, hello from Connecticut. Next week we'll do a giveaway. We're not, I don't have a giveaway for tonight. I love giving things away, but next week we are going to be doing a giveaway. Lion Brand is having 
an amazing sale. Your Lion Brand, do I have any Lion Brand? I don't have any Lion Brand. But Lion Brand has uh, great colors and great yarns as well. Yes, thank you for that. And I love your videos. I learned, thank you, thank you, Shanna. And, oh, it's 11 p.m. <laughs> okay, well, not too bad. I tried also and failed also watch several videos for the 10 stitch. Okay, we're gonna, everybody on here next week, when the next time, next time we have our live, I want you to show me, you may not have finished it, but I want you to show me your 10 stitch blanket. I'm gonna have you knitting that 10 stitch blanket. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, what does he said? The diamond painting drills just went everywhere. Oh, you you dropped everything. <laughs> you have helped me pass time. I have multiple sclerosis in the house all day. Drive for showing you. Oh, well, sorry to hear that, but I'm glad that you're doing well, and I'm glad that uh, you find you know some joy in the in the in the crafting and in my weird sense of humor. Hopefully, <laughs> thank you. Okay, and so we have those pegs are really close. Yes, they are really close. <laughs> Good thing I got my glasses. <laughs> Where can I get one of the Cindy looms? Well, um, let's see. You just uh, just go online and just punch in search send wood or just go. I think it's sendwoodlooms.com. Let's see. I think it's I think it's just I'm gonna just write send wood looms yeah so that's all you just want to go to send wood looms that's how it's spelled and um i've i've talked to her a few times on the phone um lovely lady and um the looms are really amazing in fact going forward uh i i only want to buy the wooden looms once once you work with the wooden looms you're going to see how nice it is to work with them Okay, so let me see now. Um, where can I get the Sinwood? Uh, Lion Brand Ice Cream comes in some pretty colors. Okay, so those are some suggestions for the baby blanket. Uh, hi, Norma. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Uh, Vanna's Choice has some nice colors. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, 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 suggestions here. for the Everybody's going to make sure that baby blanket is fine and good and dandy so a lot of suggestions for a baby blanket um yarn okay thank okay no uh, thank you nice to see you too i guess you talk, i don't know <laughs> thank you um okay so hershner i never heard of that company i'm gonna well i'm gonna come back and check get this from the chat but um okay i'm gonna check them out i'm always looking for new yarn companies that sounds nice and then thunderstorm moving in i may get kicked off by the weather okay well if you have to go i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up soon anyway so that i don't get kicked off by everybody in my house using up the uh wi-fi send wood send wood yes okay so narrator saying to send wood and um okay so sh thank you Th hey jamie very nice people. At, yes, they are. Very nice people and a very good product. Yes. I'm working on Scooby-Doo pattern. I will have it on my YouTube channel. Okay, so Courtney has a YouTube channel as well where she shows uh, many of the projects that she's working on. Okay, I'm tatting. Oh, you're tatting and edging for the baby blanket and maybe a crochet. Now this is the baby blanket that's due in what, Mar April, and you're tatting? Oh my goodness. I, I haven't seen anybody tat since my grandmother. My grandmother used to do that. That's pretty amazing. Wow, and let's see, um, from Oklahoma. Okay, welcome Oklahoma. The whole country is here. <laughs> <laughs> too many crafts, eh? Yeah, you, well, never too many crafts. Never too many crafts. Now, if anybody has, what is this? He says, I'm working on my first uh, baby blanket and I learned how to make it by watching your video on your first Afghan. Oh, well, I'm so happy that you're doing that. Okay, I'm working on my first baby blanket. Yeah, baby blankets are fun, mainly because they, 
they don't you don't have to make them as big as a, a huge bed <laughs> yeah okay uh i like kb wooden looms i have the 28 inch and 38 inch love them for double looming okay all right okay the kb wooden loom. okay kb does make wooden looms too yeah i i you're right so yes i haven't tried any of the kb wooden looms yet though okay but that's something maybe I'm working on a 10 cinch blanket and using Hobby Lobby Sugar Wheels One Licorice Jelly Bean. Oh, that sounds good. Like I want to eat your blanket. <laughs> I have used three Sugar Wheels so far and still have seven more to go. The Sugar Wheels have 355 yards. Yes, I, the 10 stitch does eat up yarn. But Sugar Wheels, one licorice jelly bean. Oh, are you tempted to just eat the yarn instead of knitting with it? Oh my goodness, that sounds so good. Okay. <laughs> okay, online Hirsch Schwers has been around for many years. All kinds of all kinds of crafts, including, okay, I'm gonna look that up. That's new to me, so you're teaching me something else. Introducing me to something else, Noreta. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. What weight yarn will we need for the 10 stitch? Well, I'll I'll tell you. I'm using, let me show you what I'm using. The both of the ones that I have worked on so far. Okay, so this one right here is the um the number five. This is a number five from this is a charisma number five. Okay, and I did that on the regular, let me, let me get this one to show you. Okay, because, okay, so this one here, let me go over here. Okay. All right, so this one here is actually the one that I'm working on for the, for the demo. So I just start this one right here so this one is also a number five and i'm doing it on i think these are regular i think these are five eighths inches or something like that so that's what this one is okay so now this is the same yarn different color but i'm using it on a i'm using it on a one half inch so this one is just a smaller a much smaller loom you can do either um so this is on the regular loom and that's a number five acrylic yarn so like that all right and this is the same yarn but on a smaller gauge loom okay so that's what that one looks like so i would recommend a um I keep losing me. Where am I? Okay. I would recommend, Angie, a, at least, I would recommend about a five, maybe a four, if you want to do a four. Um, I wouldn't go too much thicker and I wouldn't go, I wouldn't want to deal with the thin yarn. So I would say at least a four or five. I, if I had to recommend one, I'd say you want a five weight yarn. And the other thing you're going to be wanting to is... Uh, for your 10 stitch um you see these the markers um the i i found out i needed a lot of markers now you may not but i found it easier when i'm getting ready to attach a row to just mark where i want to attach it because i found that it gets confusing as you go along but if you have your place where you want to attach marked then it's just that much easier but i'm going to explain everything in the tutorial i am going to break it down i'm gonna break it down i'm gonna break it down so <laughs> so you'll get it okay so let me see now where who did i okay and so do you have suggestions for making for making with madam wool Ooh. Okay, see, I'm 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 not familiar with Madam Wood. I think I Madam Wool. I think uh 
There's so many things I think I think I know and have so much stuff I can hardly move in my house because of all the crafting stuff. But every day I'm finding out there's something else that I don't know about. So uh, can you, I don't know, maybe someone in the chat can uh, give some insight into Madam Wool is, I don't know what that, any for making with Madam Wool. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not familiar with what you're, with that term. So, okay, Illinois, okay, welcome, Illinois. <laughs> well, the whole country is here. This is like the One Boy Made It Live tour from home. <laughs> Macrame. <laughs> oh, I see. Do you have suggestions for making with making making things? Making macrame things. Um, I don't because I have not done macrame for. Oh my God, I I would have to be starting from the beginning. But now I know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think that's you, right? Yeah, you're saying macrame. Okay. All right. So uh, again, if anybody here does macrame and can give her some suggestions. Um, okay, are you wanting suggestions for the macrame yarn or suggestions for things you can make with macrame? So let us know if you want to. I can try to teach you to tat one buoy. Okay. All right. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah, because I it's because it's with that little that little thing that's like a looks like a needle threader. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? That's that's a good idea to share with each other some of the things that we know. Okay, so thank you, Erin. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> Loom knitting for life. <laughs> okay. I uh, love the one half gauge looms. Yes. I'm starting to love them. I didn't think I was going to, but yes. So uh, so she says, okay, she's not talking to me. Love the one half gauge looms. Yes, I do too. I think I'm starting to, uh, for a long time, I, I was thinking they were too small, but they seem pretty perfect. I have KB looms, Sinwood looms, but although I love both, Sinwood looms are my favorite. I also have beautiful loom hooks my son and his family bought me. Oh, for, mm, that got big. <laughs> How did I do that? Okay, okay. okay. From, uh, from Axel Woods Etsy shop. Okay, let me not. Okay, I think if that's a sign that the, the Wi-Fi is about to go, I don't know. <laughs> and she's saying, let me see if I can't make this a little bigger. Okay. Hirschfish. I'm going to have to go to this place. Hirschners. Okay. Has a great mystery bags for anyone interested in them. Okay. I'm definitely going to check out this. Let me write this down in case I don't get to go back through this video. I will know what it is, where I want to go. <laughs> of course, there's no paper when you want it. <laughs> okay. All right. So this place is called her okay got it all right i'm gonna go right there and see what they have okay so all right so here's shawana hi shawana creative circle everybody is so creative <laughs> and then carolyn from wisconsin and i'm in washington state and you taught me a lot well Thank you so much. The, the whole country is here. The whole country is represented right here. <laughs> okay, so have you used the Zippy Loom? I have it somewhere. Um, I don't think I ever made anything on it. Um, um, I don't know. Maybe I should go back and revisit it. I just never, it just seemed at like too big, you know, so I didn't do it, but have you have or do you use it do you make things on it because maybe i should go back and revisit that then have you zippy loom um oh she, she's not talking to me macrame wool is like shoelace and it is a bit heavier okay and she's saying hi to everybody okay so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to just uh go ahead and unless you have a question right now I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and say goodbyes. I'm going to get busy doing the finishing the tutorial. I'm going to have it up, she said. 
I'm going to have it up by Monday night. Okay, I'm going to have the tutorial up. If I don't have the whole tutorial up, I'm at least going to have like part one. Okay, so I'm going to do the tutorial and I'm going to break it down so we can all understand it. And let's see. Um, okay, thank you. I thank you for, for watching the videos and for the support and love that you all give me. I'm getting ready to, I don't know what she's getting ready to do. <laughs> anyway, um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah, so next month, uh, the last Saturday in March, is, oh, it's March already? The last Saturday in March, we'll be back. Um, one of the things that I was going to do had nothing to do with loom knitting. It was... Um, it's about stamping, but, um, you know what? I'm going to say that. Okay. So you know what? While the Wi-Fi is still holding up, I'm going to say goodbye to all of you and thank you for coming. Uh, next month we're going to be doing a giveaway. And in the meantime, everybody, I hope you enjoy working on the 10 stitch blanket. The video will be up by Monday night and Let's see. Any other questions? Any other things? So excited for the tutorial, she says. Okay. Uh, thanks again to have it. Thank you. Thank you, tutorials. I learned every K. Thanks for hosting. Thanks so much. And I'm going to get, um, hopefully, hopefully Crafting Journey will join me at least uh, for a little bit or just come on and be my guest for the whole for part of the whole show or all the show next month. And then after that, uh, again, if any of you would like to come on just for a little bit to show something in person instead of sending me an email, then if you want to do that, let me know that too. Send me an email and say, I'd like to share or I'm not shy. So I, I would like to share on camera and, and then I can bring you on with me and you can share your item or talk to me and talk to the people. So if you'd like to do that, then email me. And also, if you have any shares, anything that you would like to share, then email me your photographs, okay? All right? And so on that note, let's see what's going on. Bye-bye. Bye. All right? So... All of you stay wonderful, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you all. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to say goodbye.